I've learned that behaviors I may not necessarily be able to monitor are key to my dog's health and safety. My teacher, a little smart device called WhistleFit. Let's check it out. What makes a WhistleFit product a smart device is that it's an electronic gadget that connects, shares, and interacts with its user through another smart device. In this case, your smartphone. Whistle devices are designed to help and monitor the activities and the behaviors that are critical to our dog's health and well-being. Every sip, lick, and amount of activity that our dog has in their daily life is data. It's telling our dog's story. So now that we know what makes Whistle Fit Smart, let's talk about the features. All right, Whistle Fit features. My number one favorite feature is their one year warranty. Um, on their website, it says that if you experience any technical problems in the first year, um, they might troubleshoot, they will troubleshoot and replace your device if they think that it is necessary. And I'm here to tell you, when my dogs chewed up Lucy's first whistle fit, I thought, yeah, that's probably my fault and they're not gonna honor that, but yeah, they did. Next up, they do, you guys, they have vet advice at the touch of a button. So within the app, you can go to chat or have a phone call or email with um, a veterinarian. And so that is very reassuring. Um, I had a situation where Lucy was scratching a lot or so my, the phone said that, it, I mean, the app said that it, she was. I was a little bit worried about it. The vet told me what to look for. Two seconds on the phone and we were good. Next up, health monitoring. Here's, here's probably my kind of tied for first favorite feature. What's normal for my puppy Lucy is not normal for my golden retriever, Buddy, is not normal for my friend Margo from next door who likes to spend business hours here at our house playing with our dogs. Um, what you do is when you set up the app in WhistleFit, you tell it um, how old your dog is, how much they weigh, how active they are, what you're feeding them. The app takes all this data and it says for this dog, normal is this and unusual is that. And so one of the things that was really cool for me is that I got Lucy when she was six months old, put that data in and then we, our first um, whistle fit was destroyed. And when we got a replacement, she weighed 32 pounds. So I refreshed the data and I had been starving the little girl to death. That's why she's all skinny and all legs. I was feeding her like she was a six month old puppy. So this app, if you keep it up to date, it's going to tell you they're not getting enough or they're, they're not getting, they're getting too much. So that health monitoring, priceless. There's a shareable platform. So within the app on my phone, I can say, I want um, data from Lucy's day to not only go to me, but to my husband as well. Really simple to do. Next feature. Oh, I wanted to say that the app reminds me of my smartwatch. It's really cool because not only does it say, hey, you have a goal and you met that goal today or you're, you're not as far along today as you were yesterday, but it celebrates. Like last night, I got a notice on my phone, didn't I, Lucy? It said that she had exceeded her activity goal for that day. And it's like it parties with you just like a, a smartphone or a smartwatch would. Really, really like that feature. And then also wanted to mention that at the end of the week, Whistle sends me an email. And what it'll do is it'll compare all the days of the week where she was doing more, had more activity, had more scratching, less drinking, um, just shows you everything. And the longer your dog is wearing it, the more data you can compare and you can look at how they're doing week by week. And for us, it's like, why was that week so different? It might've been a really muddy, rainy week. It might've been super duper hot outside. It's just really cool to monitor the progress over time and daily in real time. So let's see, next, next, next. 
Some of the, the things that Whistle notifies you of um, that you might not have really thought that much about, but they'll tell you, here's one, sudden scratching is one sign of a food allergy and extra licking, it could mean that they have an arthritis flare up. You would think extra scratching might mean dry skin, and it might, or allergies, and it might, but I never would have associated it with asthma, or I mean, I'm sorry, arthritis. Um, so monitoring health, wellness, behavior, activity, and for those who elect to get the devices that have the GPS capability, um, where they are at any time. You can figure out if, they, if they're if they the type that are flight risks or if you've got a big piece of property or where they are in the yard, you can, you can track them through the GPS. I can see where there would be a lot of value to that. I can see where if I get another um, fit device for my other dogs, I'll get the GPS on those, really cool. So we'll talk about how much they cost and there is a subscription. I wanna make sure to tell you about the subscription in just a minute. We'll compare the three devices that WhistleFit has side by side and that's when you'll be able to see the prices at this point in time. In fact, I've reached that part, part of my screen where I've talked enough about the features for now. Next up, we're gonna talk about setting up a WhistleFit. It's all gonna start with this little box. Um, we have two of these little boxes because we had one um, that came in our adoption packet with Lucy and then my puppies tore that off her collar and devoured it. So then we got a replacement and both times we got this little whistle box. So you open it up and here's what's inside. You've got the device itself. This is a different color than the first one we got. This was the one they replaced it with. Um, there is a cord that you can charge the device with. It's got a little chargey thing on the end. Pop, pop that into the device. Pop the device onto a USB charger. And here's what's gonna happen. Um, the instructions I'm about to show you in this little book say, while it's charging, all right, so there it is. I just plugged this in, and then I'm going to plug it in, woo, the outlet. And I'm, I know to do all these things because this little book tells me. So I'm gonna flip it over, and here's what it says. Well, let's get started. We're going to plug it in to charge. That's the very first thing we do. And what, it's going, what it tells us is when the LED lights up, your device is ready for setup. Now, um, orange means it's charging, blue means it's syncing with your smart device, and green means that it's charged. Well, it doesn't have to be very far along in that charging process for you to set up the app. So as soon, it took mine both times, it took like a minute or two, maybe three, and that amber light came on to say that it was charging. As soon as that popped up, I um, went to my phone and I'll try to follow the steps here. I can almost do it without doing it in a structure. Um, download and set up the app. So it's just whistle, a whistle app. It, um, the icon looks like a whistle. So you download the app and then it will, the app will prompt you through every single step of setting it up. And let's see, what else do I know here? Um, attach the device to your pet's collar. So it comes with this little Velcro strap and you can thread it through the device and the device to your dog's collar. This is where we get in trouble. Lucy's collar is nylon. It's the cute little collar that she came home in. It's like her baby came home from the hospital outfit. This is Margo. Say, I'm not Lucy. But um, this collar is precious, but it's for a six month old puppy, not a big girl that plays with these big dogs. So when the collar is on Lucy, Oh, well, got it on there backwards, but you get the idea. It's around her cute little neck, and if they're playing bitey face and they grab the collar, that Velcro could give way. So with this replacement, what I've been doing different is that I've turned the whistle fit around backward, and it doesn't give them a target to grab onto and hopefully pull off. In the meantime, um, I've had a great experience with customer service, and I've been talking to them about getting 
a collar, a whistle collar. They make collars for these devices. Um, I found them to be fairly reasonably priced, but for the value that I put on this device, I'm willing to pay a little bit for the collar, but not a lot. So I also found them on Amazon. We'll talk in a little bit about reviews and some of the things that have been said about the collars and the devices and everything else. But um, I ordered her one and it was too big. So anyway, my solution that has been working so far is to put it on her collar backwards. It is still keeping um, notifications coming to my phone and it's working just fine in that little backwards situation. So that's how we set it up. So next up, let's talk about the whistle device options prices and subscription fees. So Whistle currently has three devices and the one that I have is called the Whistle Health. The website whistle.com, if you scroll down just below the images of each of their devices, you get a side-by-side -side comparison. It tells you how much the device costs and then it tells you the subscription price. Now here's the thing about the subscription. That's the part that spins all the data. So it goes from the device to the person through another device, which is your smartphone. And that subscription is how the data gets back and forth. It's, um, I think the, ours would have been $40 for a year. It's really worth it to know things that I wouldn't have been able to notice on my own. So um, the GPSs, as you can see, has some um, a couple of other pieces of or a couple of other features that mine does not have. Um, I grabbed this screenshot to show you the only health and safety features <clears throat> my advice doesn't have are GPS related. And that's why I'm okay with it. Since it was a gift, I got it with adoption and have fallen in love with it. And I probably will go up at some point. So next up, let's talk about pros and cons and reviews. Fasten your seatbelt because it's not gonna be just my opinion. I'm gonna share with you some of the other information that I found. Pros and cons. Um, the subscription activation, I'm gonna tell you my story first. Ours came with the initial whistle health that we got when we adopted our puppy, um, came with a complimentary one year subscription. I did everything we talk about in this episode on um, setting up the device, I got to the subscription part and it wanted me to subscribe and pay money to subscribe. And it was a complimentary year subscription. So I thought, oh well, I had a bag full of takeaways from adopting Lucy. I thought this looks cool, but I don't wanna get a subscription. I'm not really sure what it is. Well, one of the other things that came with her was um, two hours of concierge consultations with a vet or and or um, a dog behaviorist. And so my vet from that concierge program really wanted me to have this and let her know how it went. So she went to bat to get this thing activated. I'm gonna tell you it took a few weeks. But then when I got it um, working, I was like, oh, this is really, really cool. Second story when it comes to activation, subscription activation. I've told you that our first device was destroyed by our dogs, and so they sent us a replacement. Customer support team was very responsive. Um, they, if there was any time I had to go back and forth where they asked me a question in an email and I hadn't responded yet, I was always the one that took longer. I'm saying that because there are other reviews that that didn't have a good experience with the customer support folks. And I've had, I know three interactions with them. Um, once was just to ask some questions about the caller and um, the other two were these two devices and very responsive, very fast. Um, I, I showed them a picture of the chewed up device thinking, yeah, they're not gonna honor that. And there were, there were no questions after that. I guess maybe they just needed to know that I had a device. Um, because they immediately approved a replacement and it was here in less than a week. No, nope, I didn't pay anything for it, nada. So I got the second one, I went through the activation process and at the point where you would buy a subscription if you don't have one, it has a category that says basically the dogs that may already be registered 
to this account and it didn't show Lucy. So I got on the help desk, they immediately picked up, stayed on the phone with me, actually it was on chat with me, until they did some magic on their end and it found Lucy and we were set up. So not seamless, it's the only thing that's not 100% perfect, but I still am pretty happy with the way it went, the way it turned out, because before I went through this, I had read some criticisms and my experience was really positive. What that tells me is that Whistle's listening and they're trying to improve their products. And in my opinion, they did. All right, now let's see what else I wanted to share with you. Notifications. So occasionally I'll get a notification that says that Lucy's scratching more than usual. So I'm like, I've never noticed that before. I'm gonna start trying to watch for it and I don't really see it that much. And I started wondering if maybe it's when I pet her, if the device is reading that as a scratch, like, like she's scratching. Um, and then lo and behold, I've noticed she scratches a little bit. And I think what it's coming from is that our backyard is very muddy right now because it's winter and it's Nashville and it's bleh. And I think she's just getting all dirty and then that's drying and she's scratching it off. Um, so not too worried about it. I've been, I've been notified, so I'm happy about the way that one's turned out. Otherwise, the notifications that I see the most are about progress with her daily goals. Every day since we've started using it, she's met her activity goal. Most days, she surpasses them, and I get the little happy party. She just, um, she just passed her daily goal, and then Oh, 25% of the time I get she set a new activity record. So I love that. I love that it's encouraging and it makes me feel like my dog is getting what she needs. Um, otherwise, the notifications I see and that make me happy are battery alerts. So I saw some um, customer reviews that weren't very happy with the batteries and how long they last. I don't really pay attention to how long it lasts. I Sometimes I'll just look at the phone if I'm looking at a notification or I don't know, anything when I'm on Whistle Fit and it'll tell me how much battery life is left. I don't know why I look because the device itself notifies me with plenty opportunity to get it charged before it goes dark. So um, battery life has been, has been great. Um, oh, and then that weekly report, it's really, really nice. It shows habits from day to day and from week to week. That comes in an email. Uh, let's see. Amazon, I looked it up um, and I found some customer ratings by feature. I noticed that it said out of a possible 5.0, the average battery life on the day I checked was rated 3.0. And I just told you my battery situation has been fine. Um, tech support, here it is. Um, out of five, I got a 2.5. Not my experience. I, like I did say though, getting that subscription taken care of was a bit challenging, especially the very first time. I wouldn't even be talking about this if not for the concierge service that I got with Lucy's adoption that went to bat to get this thing, get the subscription signed up for free. So, that was, that's definitely something that needs to be taken care of. If they're complimentary or if the subscription is for a replacement device or for a second or third dog, I think they've got a little bit of progress to make there. Um, so accuracy, 2.3 out of a five. I think the closest I came to being critical of accuracy was getting notified that Lucy is scratching. And I think, that it was accurate, she was scratching. Then um, Amazon customer reviews. While my experience with WhistleFit has been <clears throat> very, very positive, others have varied opinions. So we looked at 16 reviews where customers were both very, very, very happy and yuck, don't do it, warning, warning, run the other way. And when I dug in, what I think it was about was, so there's, you know, you gotta average the numbers and I'm not quite sure what that meant. Um, just my personal experience has been really good. So if I 
as a representative of all the big dogs out there, were to give it a rating, I would say it's 4.5 paws. Um, so that is the whistle fit. I hope that you guys learned a little bit about what, whether you want to give it a try. You can always reach out to me with any questions and I'll be happy to do research on your behalf. I think that's it for today. I'm Jenny from Big Dog TV and Big Dog Magazine. Until next time.